2024 Citroen EC4 vs 2024 Toyota Avanza Comparison, which is better? Choosing between the 2024 Citroen EC4 and the 2024 Toyota Avanza is a battle between two titans, each vying for dominance in distinct automotive arenas. The EC4 champions sleek style and electric efficiency, while the Avanza prioritizes practicality and affordability. Let's delve into their core strengths to help you decide which one reigns supreme for your needs. Citroen EC4, the electric contender. Bold design, the EC4 cuts a striking figure with its coupe-like SUV silhouette, sharp LED headlights, and stylish floating roof. It's a head-turner that exudes modern sophistication. Electric efficiency, powered by a 50 kilowatt hour battery and a 136 horsepower electric motor, the EC4 delivers a range of up to 225 miles on a single charge. It's perfect for eco-conscious drivers who prioritize sustainable mobility. Tech-savvy interior, the EC4's cabin is a tech haven, featuring a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a head-up display, and a digital instrument cluster. It's a driver-centric haven that keeps you informed and entertained. Toyota Avanza, the practical champion. Spacious interior, the Avanza is a master of space, offering seating for seven in a comfortable and versatile cabin. It's ideal for large families or those who need ample cargo room for weekend getaways. Fuel efficiency, while not electric, the Avanza boasts impressive fuel economy, making it a budget-friendly option for drivers who prioritize affordability at the pump. Renowned reliability, Toyota's reputation for reliability precedes it, and the Avanza is no exception. It's built to last, offering peace of mind for those who value long-term ownership. The verdict, choosing your champion. Ultimately, the champion in this battle depends on your individual needs and priorities. If you prioritize style, efficiency, and a tech-savvy driving experience, the Citroen EC4 is your electric knight in shining armor. But if you seek practicality, affordability, and spaciousness, the Toyota Avanza remains a trusty and reliable steed. Additional points to consider. Price, the EC4 starts at a higher price point than the Avanza, making it a less budget-friendly option. Availability, the EC4 may not be available in all markets yet, while the Avanza is widely available. Driving dynamics, the EC4 offers a more agile and engaging driving experience, while the Avanza prioritizes comfort and stability. Take these factors into account, and you'll be well on your way to crowning your own champion in this exciting automotive showdown. Just as Citroën disguises its MPVs as SUVs so they sell better, not unsuccessfully, see the C3 and C5 Aircross, it's just begun to do the same with its hatchbacks. The EC4 is ostensibly a five-door family hatch in the same mold as a Ford Focus or Volkswagen Golf, but it's higher riding and has plenty of black plastic cladding around the bumpers and wall arches to make it look all crossover Y. Predictably the E in EC4 stands for electric. It sits on the same platform and uses the same drivetrain as the Peugeot E208 and E2008, Vauxhall Corset Electric and Mokka Electric, and DS3 e tents The Toyota Avanza is a small multi-purpose vehicle, MPV, that combines practicality and cost-effectiveness in an affordable package made for the Philippines. With this, it's a popular car choice among Filipino families because of its flexibility and capabilities as a seven-seater MPV. Its new styling includes less chrome on the front grille and removed strip at the side, along with smaller and sleeker headlamps. There's now also an EC4X, which Citroën is pitching as a fastback, reed saloon, meaning while the front and side profile are largely identical to the EC4, it gets an elongated rear end, 4.6M plays 4.36M. It's otherwise like-for-like, like, powertrains, trims, even price. While launch models were solely available with a 50 kilowatt hour battery mated to a 136 brake horsepower e motor for up to 221 miles of range a mid 2023 update adds a 54 kilowatt hour battery and 154 brake horsepower e motor pairing for up to 260 miles of range the avanza gets a substantial exterior and interior design update which include a three-tier front lighting configuration and additional reflectors at the back even with its large boot, more trunk space can be made by simply folding the 50 50 rear seats. 
EC4 only tested the former to date, but drive smoothly and thoughtfully in normal mode and you'll get upwards of 4 miles per kilowatt hour, which is very good. Nonetheless don't expect to travel further than 200 miles in this version without switching the aircon off and driving everywhere at 10% under the posted speed limit. We managed 170 miles or so between charges in mixed conditions. You'll get less in winter, and more if you mostly drive in town. A 0-80% charge takes half an hour, if you can find a 100 kW rapid charger. A full charge takes around 7.5 hours on a domestic 7 kW wall box. Toyota Motor Philippines offers two engine options for the Avanza, both being the new generation dual VDTi four-cylinder inline 16-valve DOHC engine. The 1.3-liter power plant is capable of producing up to 95 horsepower and 121 newton meter of torque, while the 1.5-liter variant can provide up to 103 horsepower and 136 newton meter of torque. The new engine comes with either a four-speed automatic transmission or a five-speed manual transmission. The EC4 is easy to drive, comfortable and reasonably practical too. But don't be fooled into thinking the fastback guys is in any way sporty. It isn't. Though Citroen has at least introduced a bigger battery and more powerful electric motor combo to add a bit more zip. That said, the price-to-range ratio isn't necessarily on its side, especially when you consider how much value is packed into the MG4 right now. You've got to really want that comfy ride to make this your pick of the litter. Just like the Rush, the Toyota Avanza sits on a Daihatsu-sourced platform. It's powered by either a 1.3L1 NRV chain drive mill with dual VVTi that produces 95 horsepower and 121 newton meters torque, or a 1.5L2 NRV that churns out 103 horsepower and 136 newton meters torque. Both engine options are connected to either a 5-speed manual or a CVT. The Avanza's suspension setup is McPherson strut with a stabilizer in the front and a four-link with a lateral control rod at the back. Front brakes are ventilated discs while the rear wheels get lead trailing drums. You can get a normal Citroën C4 with a three-cylinder petrol engine for not much more than 21,000 pounds. The cheapest EC4, however, costs just 31,995 pounds, or 37,195 pounds if you want the bigger battery slash e-motor, which only comes in top spectrum. We do approve, however, that the EC4X is identically priced. The Toyota Avanza drives like it's expected to but gets the job done without an excessive amount of power. With minimal load, the small MPV is able to pull itself nicely but when fully loaded, the 1.5L gasoline engine needed to work harder. Moreover, the 4-speed transmission is just okay to get the work done but don't expect spirited shifts. Handling-wise, the Avanza's steering feels too light, to the point that it feels numb at the center. This is okay within the city and partnered with its unimpeded driving visibility and copious amount of glass panels, the Avanza is easily maneuverable even in tight spaces. On mountain passes, however, you will need to be careful when tackling curves, especially that the brakes aren't its best trait.